Everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Plague Tale Innocence. I am Tom, and today we are in hot pursuit of Hugo. He got mad and he took off, and Amicia bolted after him in the countryside. She took a little tumble, and she ended up down here in this ditch. She, like, clunked her head a bit. So we're gonna go try to find Hugo. Can I go backwards? Nope. Onward. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. Is that a, a, a village here? Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia. Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Kulavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Quintius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood. But to love, to protect... I'm going to find him. Then go. And pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, Mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! Leave me alone. Uh, Hugo. Uh, where are you? Shouting! Where's your sister, eh? I don't know! Yeah, she would make a nice little bonus on top. <sighs> Love one. Hey, What's hey, that? Somebody. Are you all right? They did. <gasps> so that wasn't the dream anymore. <laughs> I thought it was part of the dream. Uh, Hugo. Uh, where are you? It's him. I want to go home. Hugo! Let me go! He's there. Thank you. Stop shouting! Where's your sister, eh? I don't know. Yeah, she would make a nice little bonus on top. <sighs> Laugh while you can. you did they no but why did you go off like that i heard mommy she was calling me it must have been a nightmare that's all 
I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. Look, Hugo. A flower... It's a daffodil. Do you want it? Of course. You're not too cross, are you? I was scared, Hugo. Me too. Well, it's over now. Lady Daffodil will watch over us. Yes. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. Guys, uh... You hurt me. I have to find mommy. You guys ready for some Hugo adventures? He's so small. <laughs> Sandwich duty. When's it gonna end, eh? So the power of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his.
This is like so much more intense because I don't have any, I have no defense. I have no tools. I'm just a baby. Oh, so big. Where's mommy? Material of materials. Gold unique. By breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the chosen one. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw epistanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. Watch out for these bottles. I wonder why that's even an option to go around like that. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the bite. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. So that guy turns around, I guess. Careful. Let's wait to see his pattern. is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. Oh. almost reached the objective I hope so because that's all we'll be able to produce it is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of Episanguis his faith protects him it protects us all oh no huh? no
This is so intense. Oh, jeez. I guess I go down there. I hear somebody walking downstairs. The party. Come on, be brave. Is that other guy looking away? Yeah, he's not paying attention. Those guys aren't either. That guy was right there. <laughs> I don't know what the safe is. I guess those guys might be too busy. Well, I about peed myself. That's enough. I demand to see Vitalis now. The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you more cautious. <sighs> Madness. Don't listen to them. The most important thing is mommy. Shut up. 
告诉你亲密。I have to hide under the table, I think. Behind it. Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. Let's see where this guy goes. Okay, looks like he's far gone. Oh, is he coming back? Gonna have to follow him out of the room. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening earlier. Oh, there's a guy right there too. Shoot. Am I gonna have to hide under that table? I feel like he's gonna see me walking back there. I'm gonna have to time this just right, I think. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, no. devours the lost barrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. But how can we be sure? What is that? Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some Never good mind. news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to crawl underneath that table, aren't I? How the heck? I'm gonna have to go in there and then crawl behind him. I think that's the play here. Get your stinky feet out of my face. And then I'm gonna have to go behind him underneath the big table. gonna wait until he walks to me and then back I don't see anybody in the other the room I'm heading toward and kind of peek through there I think uh, this is clear 
You see Amicia? I found mummy. Oh, this is like the where all the pews are. She's in the basement, they said. I have to keep going down. I can hear the people walking up there, but I don't think they'll be able to see me down here. Oh, the Grand Inquisitor. He's on the throne. It's the old guy. Hopefully his vision's not too hot. <laughs> Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... If I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Rune. Have you tested it? Yes, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. <sighs> One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. You're Inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice de Rune has regained consciousness. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. Her daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. Huh? Huh? At ease. At ignem. Ad Lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. 
The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Jeez. Oh, Nicholas, congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks, and then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor that he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? Is this guy going to turn around? There he goes. Tricky. Garden, the sky. I can see the sky. Oh, Nicholas, congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks, and then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor that he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? So glad you guys can't see my face right now. <laughs> I was like wincing. Oh no, another way, quickly. Captain, uh, I was told that the carrier of the machine. Right. The child turned himself in this morning. As I was telling you. This guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis's conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mammy without him. Oh, 
Uh, tell me. Your new rats here. Seeing as we have Why can't I hear you? I have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a radical change of diet. <sighs> Good. They're eating somebody. Oh yeah, they're eating that guy. Oh, is this guy gonna see me? Hey, kid. Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, oh, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he waited a little while. Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you. You'll all go to hell. You and your fucking rats. So there's nothing here. All right. I realize that these knights wear those spiky, like, leg guards to deter the rats from biting them. I always kind of thought that was just, like, to make them look intimidating as villains. But now I'm like, oh, there's utility to that design. I get it now. Savor this respite. It's going to get mommy. Your death mm. is not an end, for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. Oh. Mm. They're milking these people. Son with a knife to his throat. She'll come. So Lord Nicholas go past. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Ah, serves her right. Ah, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh no, she's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. He's just standing there. it out there, believe me. At least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard. He's talking to mommy. For the last time, will you answer my questions? Or perhaps you are still upset about what happened to your husband. Right. Our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back.
I don't think he's coming back. Darling, you must go if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Oh my god. All right, Hugo. We'll go together. You have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to make them leave. Right. This might get me a promotion. Authority, results. The torture has to be efficient. The room no pointless showman. A real lady. So soft. Anyway, the knives are sharpened. Hammer, pliers, vibrant saw. Everything is ready. That's pretty nasty. Hmm. With the captain around, let's double check. Oh, they lowered the prisoners down in the... Yeah, look at this. They lowered the prisoners in these cages down into the rat pits. That's terrible torture. Well, I made it a little easier, but a lot harder. How about... Lanterns! They don't 
look like lanterns. Wait, where am I supposed to? Yes! You see, Misha? I'm just going to... My head! Stop shouting! <laughs> So how do I... Ah, they can still get by. I have to get them out of there. And maybe with the other lantern. Hmm, it won't let me turn it that far. Because I need to get back over to that little hole in the wall. But then as soon as I move this one... you think I would just be able to jump. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wonder if I can go back. So I can get back up on the ladder. Maybe that's what it is. I have to strand myself over here. Because this is the only one that can reach that. Okay, let me try it. Oh wait, no, I didn't do it right. Crap. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. So I have to move... I think... Man, this is tricky.
I think I got it. Wait, <laughs> maybe I don't. I'm like trying to do this in my head. If I move this one like this, I'm like trying to solve it backwards. So I'm starting at like the crawl space. And then from there, the other lantern's got to be facing that crawl space for me to get out. So that means that one's stuck there. And then to get me out of this little hallway that I'm aiming at, this one's got to be here. Because I can't... Oh, wait. Is it working now? Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Mommy, I did it. <laughs> I was trying to solve it. It was already solved. It's all right. No one will hurt you now. My hero. How do you feel? Your head. It, it talks to me. All the time now. And what does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm, yes. They all have the same voice. The one that... Makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. Hugo can now control rats. Hold control to aim, then hold left click to call the rats to the designated area. Here we go. Everything is all right. You're going to tell them to move, so we can get out. Go on. But stay focused, or they'll become dangerous again. It... it's working. And that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's episode. Leave you on that little plot twist right there. New mechanic activated. Hugo is the rat control expert. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Please be sure to subscribe to catch more Plague Tale. It's only going to get more interesting from here. I promise you that. That's going to do it though for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.